Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slain Hope. And I have a book review for you today. I know it's been a minute. Today's book is Black Liberation and Socialism. And the reason that I read the book was because I read the Communist Manifesto. And after reading the Communist Manifesto, it changed my mindset about freedom and what liberation could look like. So I also picked up the book Black Liberation and Socialism. Because I was intrigued to what it had to say right after reading that book and changing your whole perspective about liberation. You know, it, it makes you intrigued about what exactly this book is going to talk about. So the book basically was about talking about how like black people are not going to be free under capitalism. And the reason why I said that is because the whole purpose of enslavement was to make people work for free. Right. It's to produce the gains right without having to pay so you don't really lose no money on wages because people are working for free kind of like today right like minimum wage is this an establishment right to kind of like just keep the people at basic needs right and, and people are still not living at basic needs right these so a lot of people are still living under their needs right but it's the whole idea of like give you just enough so you could keep going to work and whoever owns the means to production, right? The 1% or the 2%, whatever percentage it is, they keep making all the money. We keep making them rich, right? So it's kind, of, it's kind of like the same concept, except that now we get a little money, we get a little pay, and before we was doing it for free. So it was still under the same system of capital, of capitalism. It went from just trade, free trade, to adding value to what we trade in and once you add a value to certain things is when like the whole capitalist structure kind of like took over so the book is just highlighting that like we're never gonna achieve freedom because we still looked at as property right black people still make majority of like the cheap labor force right on um, black people and immigrant folks right so at the end of the day like it's not gonna bring us no liberation basically that's what the book was saying like unless we we um kind of like change the whole system that kind of like enslaves us so what i got from the book is basically how you know the black panther party was trying to implement a lot of these things right the black panther party was trying to like kind of like dismantle capitalism a lot of them were, were also marxists right they they believed in a lot of like Karl marx ideology they also like fred hampton right i don't know if y'all seen the movie judah and the black messiah right like fred hampton was one of the people that was kind of like working on this rainbow coalition right like he understood a lot of the panthers understood right like one way to win the battle is like we have to show people that it's way more people to have similarities right throughout the different colors like a lot of us are poor living in impoverished communities with violence um living living below um our needs you know going through a lot of like similar things right but the whole and this is how capitalism is so smart right it creates the issue of race so that we don't see our similarities and we don't come together to kind of like combat the people that are getting rich of our suffering and, and our issues. So that's kind of like the things that I got from it that if we was to oh, open our eyes and wake up and build a, a coalition of the 97% right or the 99% of the people who are impoverished, who are struggling, who can't afford a $500 emergency. And if we was to be able to resurrect those people and show them like, yo, like we all in the same situation and these people are the problem. These people are the issues. These people are the blood suckers. They're the vampires. Then you can probably achieve some type of liberation because this is, come on, it's a, it's a 99%, right? So that's kind of like what I got from it. I think that we would get further with a rainbow coalition of oppressed folks trying to fight for justice and true liberation and, and, and some type of equity and equality, right? Rather than like we trying to go as little groups, you know what I'm saying? We're not really going to get far because at the same time as we trying to like demand something from the people that's oppressing us, we are fighting each other. So that's what I got from the book and how I plan on implementing it is I just tell people before you get caught up in choosing a side, I think it's important that we should read from both sides. I think that when there's two sides, they're always going to talk trash about each other. They're always going to throw dirt on each other and I think that like we live in a capitalist country who is going to tell us certain things about socialism and communism and I think like don't get caught up in the images that they show us about what it looked like in communist Russia or socialist Germany don't don't get caught up in some of the pictures right 
because this is the same thing that they did about Africa. They showed us the negative images. This is the same images that they show about black folks. This is the same images that they show about <clears throat> Muslims. Like, this is what the media does. Whenever they want to sway you to believe certain things, they're going to show you negative images. They're going to feed you propaganda in school, through, through, through the news, um, through, through the vision, through whatever means that they have. So we got to be very careful. And I think it's very important to read, especially when they tell you not to read from certain people. I think sometimes it's okay to read just 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 to see just to see what's going on. Like what what is their side of the argument? <clears throat> and the last thing I would say is don't forget that like capitalist regimes and capitalist countries, they constantly fight against communism and socialism. So if you don't think it's something fishy about that, I don't know what to tell you. But hopefully y'all enjoy it. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Hope y'all enjoy this read. Peace.